Hi, today I want to show you how to self-host your WIST and Webflow web application. Now, the wonderful thing about that is if you're going to work on a bigger project where hosting and more importantly, self-hosting is the main requirement because it is an enterprise or they have certain security standards, they need to be GDPR compliant and so on and so forth. This tutorial is something that will really help you set that up and fulfill that demand. Whether it is for an enterprise client that has this requirement or if it is for yourself and you need to meet certain security um, specifics in terms how you host your things to either get VC funding or to be compliant with your uh, countries or continents or whatever it is, regulations for data security or for data regulations or data regulatory stuff, this is right for you. And it's also great if you're a freelancer or an agency and you work with enterprise clients, this more than likely will be a must. They will most more than likely tell you, get rid of Webflow. We want to host that on AWS, on Azure, on Netify because we already have agreements with them. They are already part of our security protocol. They are SOC2 compliant, whatever. Those are the things or GDPR compliant, big tr topic right now. Um, or we need to have a server location in the United States, we need to have a server location in Europe, and so on. This will help you achieve that. Now, the thing is, how what's happening with WIST? Is WIST disappearing? Is WIST not working anymore? I'm going to show you, I'm going to guide you through the whole process today in how to do the transitioning. You build everything in Webflow, you build everything in WIST. Now, you need to move it over to custom hosting, and let me show you how to do that. So there are two examples here. If you go to your Webflow project and you go to site settings, um, one instance would be that you already have Webflow custom code on here and just ignore that thing. You can disregard that. I'm talking about this part in here. So you already have the Webflow, uh, excuse me, you already have the WIST embed on here. You have Webflow custom Webflow code in here with the WIST embed. If you have the WIST embed already in here, it's very straightforward, right? You're just going to go to the code expert and you're exporting and downloading the file right here. And you can even set up like an automatic server function that will autonomously do that. So you could like a Node.js or Python. There are some browser um, web drivers called, they, they call them web drivers. You could set up a web driver that will automatically log into your Webflow account every minute or every hour or whatever. And, um, basically take up download this file and upload it on Netify or upload it to a Git repository. So there are cool ways of autonomously doing that, but we're not going to cover that in this video. So what you're going to get is you're going to get a zip file from Webflow. We want to unzip that and we want to take the folder and drag it into our Netify, for example. And for this example, we're going to take Netify because that is a wonderful way how we can get um, a wonderful hosting solution set up. So I have that page already generated in Netify, just like that. And now I can just basically open that page and we will see it is not a Webflow link anymore. It is a Netify link and I can even connect my own custom domain for free. This is free hosting, by the way, up to 100 gigabytes, I think, in um, processing and bandwidth. Now, the cool thing is if you already have the Webflow embed on there, I can just use native Webflow functionalities like this. As you can see, uh, excuse me, I can use native WIST functionalities. As you can see, WIST is dynamically rendering content in here. We have the powered by WIST. If I go to inspect elements, just like here, and let's go to the console, we will see that everything is working. And I know a lot of people don't like that I built this thing with 404. This setup here will solve that issue. Now, the cool thing about that is I can, like all my normal Webflow stuff is working. Like if I go to 404, I will be going to my 404 page. If I just go to the main thing, I will be going to the main page. Everything stays the same like it would be in Webflow. Wiz will continue to work but I'm getting rid of the Webflow badge. I can host that Webflow project for free and 
I can still make edits in WIST. And let me show you what, I'm, what I mean with that. So I could basically just add an action in here and let's call this test. And I'm going to do an event action that basically um, page starts loading or page finishes. Let's do page finishes loading and let's do run function, yes. And let's just do an alert. So we do alert like this. Um, oh, <laughs> I triggered that. We're going to do, oh. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> this is fun. Uh, <laughs> we're going to do hey. Okay, okay. Gotcha. Let's comment this out real quick to edit this. Oh. <laughs> Perfect. So this is self hosted. Just like that. Let's uncomment this. Look at that. Perfect. It's working already. So. Now I have this working in Wiz. I don't need to publish it. It's already auto-publishing everything. Now, the cool thing here is I can go to my Netify page, which is not hosted on Webflow, which is fully self-hosted, just like that. And it works. As you can see, it now says Netify.app says this is self-hosted. Okay. So even though it is not on Webflow anymore and I'm not paying a dime for this hosting here, this is all free. I can use WIST, I can use Webflow. Now, of course, I have to pay for WIST, but this cuts my monthly invoice by $35. Isn't that great? And more important than cutting the invoice by $35 or $39 is you can now go, if you're a freelancer, you can go now to enterprise clients and offer them with confidence a web app solution that can be hosted on what they are working with. If they're working with Azure, they can have it on Azure. If they're working with Cloudflare, they can have it on Cloudflare. If they are working with Netify, like in this example here, this can work with Netify. It meets and it can be hosted in every server location wherever you want. Now, you, of course, you have to figure out how WIST is being hosted and maybe also look into a custom hosting approach for the code you do in WIST. But this is one step closer to working with bigger clients that want to have more control of the way how their web application is hosted. And yeah, I hope that this really helped you. And please don't start exporting all your websites now to self-hosting. Um, but if you do, you know how to do it right now. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all your time. And please let me know if you have any questions um, or if you have a better solution of doing that. That is also always appreciated. And thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate that. And have a good one. Bye-bye.